Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. One of the things I miss most about being in the classroom is, besides seeing everybody every day, is working in the garden. Now, as you've seen in my previous video, I did create a small garden in my front yard, and I'll take you outside in just a little bit so you can see what it looks like now. But I wanted to show you some of the ways that you can start a garden in your home. So I have some scraps from food that I've used in my cooking during the last few weeks and I saved them instead of throwing them away so I could show you how you can sprout them and then plant them back in the, gar in the garden. So I have um, Napa cabbage, I have some green onion stalks here that still have the roots on, I have a few bowls of garlic and if you take a close look you'll see that this one is, al is already starting to sprout, you'll see the green stems poking out. And then I also have the heads from some bell peppers that I cut yesterday and you'll see that the seeds are still intact. Now it's very simple. You want to make sure that you have containers that you can place these seeds and seedlings into. Now I have some recycled materials that I kept instead of throwing them away. I have an old salad dressing bottle. I have a spice jar. I have the container for my baking powder which I emptied yesterday and it has a lid with a flap and there's a hole in there so you can still access it. I also have a plastic egg cart. Okay, now besides the recyclable containers, you want to make sure that you also have some water. So this will be your main medium for rooting and getting the plants ready to transfer into the garden. Okay, so we're going to start with the green onions. So the green onions are really easy. All you want to do is make sure that you reserve at least two to three inches of the stem and make sure that it has its roots intact. Now you want to make sure that you have at least two to three inches so that one, it stays up while you put it in the container and it will give it um, a better chance of actually growing. If it's too small, sometimes it will spoil before it can actually start to grow again. And then in this container, all I had was, um, I filled it halfway with water and then I place the green onion inside. You're fine. Okay, so you just stick it in here and then you'll see that I already had these in the cup, the cup for a couple of days and you'll see what a huge um, growth we had in just two days. Now you can cut this and use this in your cooking or once you have at least an inch or two of growth, you can transfer them into the garden. And later on, I'll show you how you can transfer it back in there. Okay, so that's one. For the Napa cabbage, all you want to make sure is that you have a clean base. So if it's kind of moldy or very um, sticky on the bottom, you just want to wash it really well just, just to avoid any kind of mold or mildew from going on there while you're um, rooting it. And you'll notice that this too has been in the water for a couple of days and you can see some new leaves starting to sprout in the middle. So we're actually looking for a little bit more growth before we can transfer it into the garden. So that goes in a shallow dish with some water. And you just want to fill it about half an inch upwards of water just so it has water to sit on to help it grow. Now for the garlic, I'm actually going to be using the egg carton. Now you don't have to waste a whole garlic. This is for old ones that are starting to sprout already or you know that they're a lot older. So all you're doing is you're peeling it, peeling off the skin so that you can expose the little cloves like the ones that I have here. So what you're going to want to make sure of is that you remove the tough callus bottom so that you can expose the end here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of rocks. Now if you don't have little pebbles like this, you can use um, the little pebbles. You can find rocks outside. If you have bark that you um, can cut off into smaller pieces, that way it can fit into the container you're putting it in, that'd be great too. So all I'm doing is placing some rocks on the bottom. Now the purpose for this is to avoid having the garlic sit directly into the water and it will also help to hold the garlic upright because they're very small, they tend to fall down, okay? So I have some containers here that are filled with rocks and then I'm going to put a little bit of water in each one. Now this is where the kids can definitely help. They can help with scooping the medium, helping you find recyclable materials at home. Now if you have too much water, that's fine. You can just turn it 
or scoop it out just so it's not too much water. We want the water to be sitting above the rocks, but not any higher than that. If it is, then you can always take out more. I'm going to go back and I'll use the spoon so I can take some out of the other containers. We don't want the garlic to rot. We just want it to be sitting on the rocks so that it can have water to drink as it starts to grow its shoots. Okay, so that's a lot better. Now all you're going to do is you're going to put the end down and you can wiggle it down in the rock so that it can stay upright. And what's going to happen is that every couple of days or so you should check to see that the, there's still water in there. You can feel the top of the rock to feel if there's any moisture. And if there isn't, then you'll want to add just a little bit of water. As I mentioned earlier, you don't want the garlic to be sitting in too much water. You just want it so that the end can always get um, water. Okay, so we'll put these down like this. The other thing that you want to make sure of is that you have the skin on the garlic. That's just to prevent it from getting um, from rotting while it's starting to send out its shoots. So this is what it will look like when you're finished. You can transfer it carefully into a sunny area. Just don't take it outside until you have at least two to three inches of growth. And once these have two to three inches of growth, I'll be able to put those in a pot. Okay, I finished transplanting all of the garlic pods into the egg carton. Now the next thing I wanted to do is address some of the problems that I came across while I was doing this activity. So as you noticed earlier, I had the cup of water in this large cup right here. And I had some trouble controlling how much water I was putting inside of each slot. So what I did was I used the spice jar and I transferred some of the water into it. Just so it's easier for me to pour and control how much water goes into each container. Now this is something that you can do with your child. I also have a little soup spoon that I found in my kitchen and you can um, have them work on transferring. So they're working on eye-hand coordination, they're working on fine motor, and then they can transfer it slowly from one container to another. And that way they're also addressing one-to-one -one coordination. The other thing that you can do is after you place all of your garlic pods into the container, and some of them are falling because they're really small, you can place a few more rocks in there just to help hold it upright. Now the cool thing about using this egg carton is that I found it has these little crevices, these little gaps in between of each slot. And it's perfect for holding up the garlic pot so that they don't fall um, on their side while they're in the egg carton. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cover this up. And I'm just going to find a safe place for it in the garden. Oh, I'm sorry, in my kitchen so that I can let it do its thing for a couple of days and then I'll come back and check to see if I need to add more water. Now the last thing that I showed you earlier that I saved were the green bell, the bell pepper seeds. So we're going to go take a break and go to my garden so I can show you how I transfer them into the ground as well as how to transfer the green onions once they've had one to two inches of shoots coming out.